Ben Horner for MBTV, who have still British champions, Ryan and Liam Walsh. Um, first time I've got the two of you together on the channel. Um, first off, I've come to you, Liam. What was it like sitting in the changing room knowing your brother had gone out to defend his British title and not being able to give your two piece in the corner? Yeah, it was, um, it was difficult to be honest, but I understood the role, the job that I had on the night, and that was to obviously stay calm, let Ryan go out, do his job, and then when he come back, it was all eyes on me and focus on myself. I did manage to watch Ryan's from like the back of the room, and um, I was sort of trying to half stay warm and limber up as well as watching, but I found myself just sort of bobbing and weaving with the punches and, and watching his fight and half screaming and urging him on with John Thaxon trying to calm me down and and um, yeah so it was it was a it was it was a good night. It, I don't um yeah he died. Don't know what I'm saying, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryan, not to have Liam in the corner. Um, uh, different I've experience. I've answered this a few times, he can never be at my gun. You know, physically okay, he weren't there, but he was there, he was there every second in in camp, he was there all the preparations done come fight. He'll tell you. He's been. He's, he's been telling me. Freddie Roach just said it. He says it. Anyone who understands boxing says it. Once you've done all your preparation, there's not much that can help. But all, you, all we can do is go back over certain things that we've been working on, and and that was addressed before I went into the ring. I was left with some real good advice. He's one of the only few people I actually do listen to. So yeah, it was different not having him there physically, but he was there all the time. Later on in the night, your brother then comes out to defend his British and Commonwealth title. What did it mean to you? Like you've said, the greatest moment in boxing is to watch your brother win the British title. What did it mean to you to see him defend his titles once again? That still is my greatest moment and um, it was special. It was special because we got to show in each other's success. Um, I, I had pr a certain pressure on me, which then, which was nice really, because my pressure was lifted and then put all onto Liam and I think that helped him as well. Because once my job was done, everyone has to watch Liam, everyone has to and I, I'm really, really happy with his performance. I think there's an illusion with Liam's fight where uh, unless you really understand him like I do, that's one of his best performances. He's brilliant. His feet, the whole, he took, if, if you was doing a checklist on what you want a fighter to do and how you want him to do it, well, you'd be checking so many different boxes against a very good fighter who's done 10 rounds of a world champion, who's gone on to be a world champion. Obviously, he weren't at the time. and. I'm really happy with his performance. I'm happy that he rose. Yeah, and I didn't I have no doubt he was going to do that. If you had at the press conference the day before, he asked me, do I get nervous for Liam? I said, no, why should I? I do everything with him. I don't get nervous for myself. Why should I get nervous for the, the guys and everything with me? So, yeah, I was, I was happy. Watching the performance back, I've watched over the fight many times. Um, for me, it was one of them performances that you really looked happy in the ring this time. You, it, it was a slightly different performance. You, there was a smile on your face throughout the fight. It looked like you were really enjoying it. Yeah, um, well, what was the difference? Was it because you were out for a little while and it was that first fight back and you were relieved to be back in the ring? Or? Yeah, I think there's a bit of that there, yeah. A bit of giddiness, a bit of excitement because I hadn't boxed for 10 months. And also, early doors, he, he, he sort of in class, he said to me, come on, Liam, like, got me involved. And I just enjoyed it, just enjoyed it, it felt good. Some days you just feel good, you get out of bed, you feel good. Some days you get out of bed, you feel bad. And on that particular day, I got out of bed and I felt good that day. And I just, I just enjoyed it. Yeah, it's just a good day. Yeah. I don't want to ask yourself where you see you going, but Ryan, where do you see Liam going after that performance and next fight out? Oh, the same place I've, I've fought. He can go since, I've, since I've, my dad told me first probably how, what he thought about all of us and what we should be able to do. He's ticked many of them boxes, what my dad said. But for me personally, I look at other world champions and I, and I put them against him and I think, and I fought and they were world champion and I think there's no excuse for my brother not to be a world champion. None, none whatsoever. I'm yet to meet an athlete, a uh, sportsman who works harder, is more dedicated and sacrifices more. And with, with experience, which he's gaining every, each fight, there's no excuse. He should be a world champion. Not, not, not just on things along of talent, the talent doesn't cut it. Just being talented isn't good enough. So it's the other things that he has. So there's no excuse. Given the opportunity, he will be a world champion. 
in my opinion. If he, and we're, we're, I, I don't see us having any regrets. He could have been a world champion now with, with, without bad luck mm -hmm. and injuries. So we'll just we'll see where we go. But I expect him, and I don't I don't feel there's a point in any pressure on him by saying I expect him to be a world champion when, when the time's right. Liam, Ryan now defended his British title twice. Where do you see this year panning out for Ryan? I see him defending his British title next against a voluntary opponent as it's, as it's his um, duty to defend it against a, against a mandatory, uh, a voluntary, sorry. Winning that outright and then moving on. Um, and the European title looks a good fight. The Ukrainian looks a very good fight. And take one fight at a time, you know, don't, don't set, like, Obviously, from dot one, both always wanting to be world champions. It's not that I'm not saying um, that, that in a, an arm for Ryan, because it totally is, and I and I know Ryan better than anybody, and I know he's capable of winning the world title. I've said it since dot two, and people laughed at me early doors, and people laughed at me when I said he knocked Tennyson out, and people laughed at me when I said he beat Samir easy, which he did. People laughed at me when I said Trano will get knocked out, you know, because. If for whatever reason Ryan doesn't seem to get the credit he deserves, but I'm happy with that. He's happy with that. They can keep writing him off, and um, providing he gets a little bit of luck, as we all need, myself, everybody included, a little bit of luck and a little break on his night at Nystown, he can beat anybody, and he can be a world champion 100%. I, I, don't, I don't even say that as if like I'm saying it like he can be, like he, he will be given given the right break, but a little bit of luck. He's now starting. You're now starting to see about 20% of Ryan because he's got some momentum, he's, he's fighting regularly, he's growing in confidence, you can see it, be, look at his fights, look look at Ryan's when he fought, so that's a five fights ago, he's fighting Tenerife, now look at his fight now, you're going, wow, they're two different people, you know, and that's because he's now starting to get momentum, I've always known this, he needed this process, and he's now, he's now going through that, and um, in another two or three more fights, you'll be saying, you'll be, there'll be everyone pushing, saying, why can't Ryan fight for world title? Two, two more fights, three more fights maximum, and, you, and everyone will be saying, get Ryan a world title fight, you'll see. Brilliant. Thanks for your time, Ryan. Liam, yeah, thank you. best of luck in the future, and I'm sure I'll meet up with you again soon. Spot on. Brilliant. Cheers, Cheers.